Hey gang, Craig Ripley here. Welcome once again to Living Off the Slab. Now today we're going to talk about the future of motorcycling, the Harley Davidson Livewire. Now, of course, the Harley-Davidson Livewire isn't available to ride yet. It's supposed to be at dealers later on this year during 2019. But right now, we just have to rely on the things that the motorcycle press is telling us. And by all accounts, this is a great bike, right? It's going to be fast. It's going to be fun to ride. And you may or may not like the looks. Again, that's completely up to you, right? However, the problem that well, I have with it, I'm sure a lot of other people are going to have with it, are twofold. And that's the problem with virtually every electric bike right now on the market. They're too expensive and they don't have a big enough range. The live wire is a prime example of these two issues, right? One, Harley Davidson wants $30,000 or just under $30,000 for this motorcycle. Right? And on top of that, it has a range of about 110 miles, again, according to them. And that's if you ride in a, quote, normal fashion. That probably means like a little old lady. Right? But if you ride like a normal person, well, you'll be lucky to get 70 or 80 miles out of a charge. So that means for $30,000, you're basically getting a commuter bike. Right? And I don't know about you, Right? But I'm not going to spend $30,000 on something that's going to get me back and forth to work. That's just ridiculous. Now, is Harley going to sell any of these bikes? Well, probably some of them. They'll probably sell a few. Right? I mean, I'm sure that Billy Joel will buy one for his collection and maybe Jay Leno for his. And there'll probably be a few other people who will not mind forking over this kind of money just to say they had the first electric Harley. But the average guy isn't going to do that. In fact, from what I've seen out there on the forums, all of the Harley faithful just absolutely hate the idea of this bike. But in Harley's defense, right, they don't really have much of a choice here, right? The industry is moving in this electric direction, right? In fact, all of transportation is moving in this direction. And that is because we have our governmental agencies now pushing, right, these changes in uh, you know, clean energy and so forth that they're going to make us all adopt, right? That's going to be true for cars, right? That is going to be true for motorcycles in the future. So Harley doesn't have an option here of going in this direction, as does any other major manufacturer. And we're seeing more and more of them going to, you know, towards an electric bike. Now, personally, if they could make an electric touring bike that got 600 miles on a charge, I could ride all day, plug it in wherever I went, and then get up and do it again the next day, man, I would be all over it, right? I would love that kind of nice, quiet, you know, whirring sound as I'm traveling all day long, right? Loud pipes are great, right? But when you have to listen to them all day, day after day, personally, I'd rather have the quiet of the electric motor. The problem is, though, that in order to be able to do what I just described, that means battery technology has to improve about, well, five or six times over what it currently is. And we're not likely to see that here in the near future, right? Maybe 40, 50 years from now, we'll see that. But this change over to electric vehicles, it's going to take quite a bit of time. Now, I don't like to get political on this channel. I like to keep it about motorcycles. However, in this particular instance, I think that they go hand in hand here, right? We just had this announcement of this, quote, Green New Deal that is being proposed, right? And it's not going to go anywhere. We all know that. But this seems to be the direction that at least part of our political establishment wants to push us. I mean, up here in New England, for example, and in the Northeast, virtually everybody heats their homes with either oil or gas heat. Right? So in order to do what this new Green New Deal is talking about, right, and converting everybody over to clean energy in 10 years, that means that every home, every business, virtually said every structure in the Northeast has to be converted over to electric heat. Right? Can that even be done in 10 years? I doubt it. In my opinion, you're just not going to be able to force this, 
right, on society. It's going to have to be an organic change that occurs over a long period of time. And maybe it is a great thing to go for, again, in the future, but right now, again, it just isn't going to happen overnight. Now, as far as motorcycles go, I can see that there's an application for these electric vehicles or this electric technology, right? Harley, along with this live wire, has said that they want to do a couple of smaller electric bikes, more of these urban mobility kind of things. And I can see that as being a good application for an electric motorcycle or some kind of electric vehicle. Right, you can plug it in, you can go to work, you can go do your things, come back home and plug it in again. You're not taking these big trips. Right? But if you want to have this mobile lifestyle that we have here in the U.S., whether it be by motorcycle, by car, by RV, whatever, right, you're not going to replace the internal combustion engine for the foreseeable future. All right, guys, so now it's time for you to tell me what you think about this. Are electric bikes the future? Right? I mean, we old guys, we curmudgeons, right? we're probably not going to have to worry about it. Again, in the next 30 years, I know I'll probably won't be around then and again it'll be the young people's problem and maybe they're more open to having these electric bikes and electric cars and so forth than we are right we don't like change as we old guys right but again we'll see how it comes it's probably is inevitable it's just a matter of time all right, guys, once again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you like what you're seeing and click that bell to get notified. Also, if you want to support this channel, there are several ways to do that in the description of this video. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.